All right, these back people, we got a no heat call here. This here, I think they got an electric air handler unit, so it's going to be a little different. Because most of our calls down this way usually be gas furnaces. We don't have a lot of heat pumps. We don't have a lot of uh, air handling units. But every now and then, we do run across. So the sequence of operation is going to be a little different. So we're going to see if we can get them some heat and get you some footage. All right, these back people, stay tuned. All right, folks. All right, all right, see the dumbest there. 65 degrees. All right, all right, got a carrier. All right, well, hand me my tube bag. Come up. So I'm looking for my little touch pin. Might be in my truck. Uh, I like to troubleshoot heat with that. I'm, I can run to get it because I know where it's at. Do me a favor, start taking these all, right. all the quarter inches out. Yes, all right, back. All right, what we got here? A little funky. No control, boy. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's an easy way to do it. Is call for it at the thermostat. Yeah, or determine which one is your heat. Let me put this over here. All right. Let's go back a little bit. All right, so first, like I said, I like to use my little touch pin when troubleshooting this heat and stuff. First thing, I want to make sure we got power. And we're going to go ahead and get the middle too. So this is an air handle. So, different from the furnace. Listen, we, we want 240 volts up here. The furnace we got 115. Right. So let's see what we got up here. 247. So we got the right voltage. All right. So I like to look around at the electrical back there. Yep. You want the relays? Yep. Kill your life up, man. Yep. So I want to kind of like just look around at that electrical and then make sure I don't see like nothing burnt. Mm -hmm. so I don't see. So go ahead and shine your light. You, you want it? Yeah, yeah. No, no, you can go ahead and shine. Just, you got to uh, put on the, the less bright setting. Right there. There we go. Yeah. I mean, why are you going to kill me? All right, so, so like I said, we can either find our thermostat wire, yep, we can. which is right here. Right. Okay, so we got fan for green. This W is going to be white right here. Okay, but I like to, instead of jumping it out, I like to Just call. test it out from the thermostat. Yep, so I'm going to go to the thermostat and just call for heat. And just see what the unit doing before we do anything. Alrighty, sounds good. Alright, let me see that gun. Alright. So we're gonna call for heat. Let's get the 
80 auto. Let's see what it does. So we know on electric. We, no, heat. That should be heat. That shouldn't be cool. I hear that condenser. Yeah. So on heat mode. The cool comes on. Cool come on. And the fan is that fan not turning on here? Oh the other fan. But still. That's a shift. Huh? I put it in heat mode, but we're gonna verify right there. What happened? Yeah. Let me double check, make sure I ain't put it in cool, but no, I did heat. Heat is on. So the thermostat may be set up for a furnace. But we're gonna make sure. Alright. Yeah, it's in heat mode. So what we wanna do. There's two white places right here too. What about? This is the one. This one. This condenser yeah. right here, right? Yes, sir. This thermostat. So. I'm trying to determine on which one is going to be common. But we know we got two wires coming from my condenser, which is so, right here. Really so I'm thinking this blue is for cool mode. It's going to be common. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. I'm going to determine which one of my common wires, so now, <coughs> now what I want to do is, I will, this common, right, the blue common, right, you know that's common, this should be red, 24, stick that in there, I'll stick the black in there, since it's common. Hold it in there and I want to check this and see if I got 24 votes. But we do got 24 votes, right? Sure. 27 votes. So now I want to go to my heat right here. Okay, you got common. I want to go here. I'm on zero. What a cool level. Uh, it would be this one. No, this is power. So this should be cool. So I'm at 27 votes on my cool right here. This is part of the Okay. Another thing we can check. I think I told you one time that you know, in the heat mode with electric, you get more amps. Mm -hmm. I forgot what we were doing, but we were getting like 23 amps on the heat, yes. playing the commercial unit. Yes. Yes. So we know, because you, because you could have your heat on right now, okay. the heat and the cooling on at the same time. Mm -hmm. But it's auto right there. Let me see, auto, so I want to go to amps. Not showing me any amp, so I'm just gonna go. He'll need a better than this one. Anyway, so I got 2.9 amps, right? So that did let me know the only thing that's the blower mode. Only the blower mode, not the cooling. It's and it's freezing up, probably because we got the door open. But we got 2.9, so that, that let me know if we go on, on that. Uh, uh, nameplate, which is right here. If I go to heat, I think that's the heat supply right here. I'm not sure. We're like 26 amps. It don't say heat. Okay, it's heat right here. Probably a 5 or a 10 kW heat kit. So it should probably get about 26 amps. But we know it's not doing that. So what I would like to do, since it's calling for cool, let's go down to the thermostat. We're gonna make sure the thermostat is set for electric and make sure it's wired correctly. Right. 
Okay, this thermostat don't look too old. So let's do this. We're gonna take it out the wall, right? Yes, sir. Let's look on the back of here. See, it's set for Fahrenheit. You see that HG? I, I would think that means heat gas instead of heat electric. Mm. Okay. I think it should be on heat electric. I don't have a schematic for this, so I can't tell for sure, but let's look at the wire. Can you look at the settings for them? Mm -hmm. yep. so that, mm, that would make a lot of sense, too. Yeah. Okay. Right there. Yeah. Yep. We got the W1 right there, so I think it's wired correctly. All right, so switch this. Take a picture of it for me. Got your phone there. So now, just uh, toggle that switch from HG to HE. Not, not that one. Which one? The small one. Oh. Hold, HU hold to hold H. Up. Okay, now you, you you correct. I don't know what this means, HG or HE, mm -hmm. but I do say that big one is HP for heat pump instead of conventional. So let's try that one first and leave that HG alone. So, come yeah, put it down. Can you see where it's safe? HP to mm -hmm. H? Conventional? Yes, sir. Because we'll want them. Conventional. What? Conventional. Now heat pump. Heat I pump. think we're going to need to put that H. Uh, we can see what it do and then do it. Okay. But uh, Or you can um, Google Brayburn. Yeah, you Google Brayburn and then put that 102. 120 NC. We, we're gonna do conventional first and then if we need to change, we will. Okay. Three burn thermostat. Yeah. Uh thank yeah, thank you. Then put in uh one two uh 1020 NC. Mm -hmm. 1020 NC, yeah. See if you can find me. Um, thermostat manual. manual. Yeah, let's see right there. All right, so let's see what happened here. Okay, I hear some. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Okay. All right, so look now. I got twenty six. Twenty six amps. 26 amps. That just let me know without actually looking at that, you know, pulling it out and look at the uh, electric things fire up or turn orange or red. Yep. Yeah. The 26 amp let me know it's working. You can do it on both legs. Smell it too. And my condenser shut off. So let's just get a lot of pictures. Yeah. And then uh, I think that's all we need instead of the heat pump just conventional yeah. on that thermostat. You guys watch the electrical. And if you want to, we can take pictures of. Uh, they work. Yeah. So we get a self tapper and then check out. We're gonna put the panel back on. Yeah. Yeah, we got this kind of sticking in there.
102, so we got heat. All right, these back people that doesn't know heat call on an electric air handler. 